<laughs> What's up, Comic Book Nation? Welcome to the studio here. We are here at San Diego Comic Con with the walking, the men of the Walking Dead here. We got Andrew Lincoln, Jeffrey Morgan. Guys, thank you for coming by. Thank you uh, for having us. Good morning. Congrats on the reaction to the season nine trailer. Yeah, it's been it's awesome. Good, good, yeah. good, good. Dude, uh, first of all, Andrew, this is a question for you because that trailer uh, had such a classic feel to it for The Walking Dead, man. And there are some people coming back, you know, this season, things happening. Uh, so what did it feel like to kind of craft this season? Was there any kind of nostalgia to it for you? Oh, yeah, without a doubt. I mean, I think that there were a lot of, um, certainly the, the pilot episode that was reminiscent of uh, this opening episode and um and also a couple of other episodes too as well that there we've got a few surprises as we both know but we're not allowed to talk to uh, talk about uh and some huge surprises but um but yeah we loved it i mean angela we have to talk about angela kang if we talk about this season because she is the creative force this year she's been on the show since season two and i think she's breathed new life into it and given us uh, a collaborative feel on set yeah. and, and also just an energy, a real positive energy. And also it feels like the show that I always thought we would get to when we shot the pilot in Atlanta nine years ago. Amazing, man. I can't, I, I'm so sad to know that you're leaving the show, but uh, I feel like you've earned it, man. You gave us eight plus years, nine years of amazing work and amazing acting Thank and you. a great show, so I appreciate it. But when you were saying goodbye, what was, what was the most difficult part? Was there, was there anybody who stood out? It was like, man, I'm, I'm gonna really miss you. You know, the, the, the strange thing about being here was the fact that I think it really hit me yesterday um, because of the relationship we, that this show has with the fans here. And as soon as it finished, the panel, and I was hugging these guys, and I walked off set, off set, off the stage. <laughs> uh, it was more profound, my sadness, than actually wrapping up on the show because the show I was so proud of, the way that we, the story was going and where this season is going. It's, it's a brilliant launching pad, I think. Yeah. The episode that I leave into the rest of this incredible season. So all of that was more just like, oh, I'm pleased that I've completed it. I'm just relieved. This is... Oh fuck! I'm leaving. You know, this is. Yeah. I mean, I swear, but are, this are is, you? Are you? But that's the truth. That, yeah. that, but there is a thing of you know. It's. I, I wish I could say more. I really didn't want Kirkman <laughs> to to you know spill the beans. To spill the beans. Let's be because, honest. Because I wanted everybody to experience this season because I think it's going to be amazing for many, many reasons. But it would have been even better if no one was aware of this. Well, that's, that's the times now. It's like when, when Glenn goes under the dumpster. Yeah, it's impossible. Like, oh, you know, it's tough it, it to keep really the secrets. Is. As soon as you're spotted in London for a couple of weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's true. A, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I mean, there were well, rumors cool. of this being your, yeah. you know, yeah. Wait, weeks oh, ago. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think that's just from people like, spying on us yeah, you know yeah, exactly. uh fans realizing oh i haven't seen andy in a day yeah. you know one day of this guy not Crazy. going to work it causes an uproar that's a sign though of your popularity too so that's cool but it's also He's just a stud. Bit, bit, the bit jeffrey's right you know it's my relationship with this part is far from over you know that's it's you know i i'm not going to say any more than that but i would just say watch this season Oh, we're going to be there. We're going to be there. For, you guys in the trailer had some really cool uh, dialogue between each other. I feel like that scene's going to be a lot longer than we saw in the trailer. Comic fans are familiar with the talks in the prison. So, uh, Jeff, what's, uh, what's going on there? What can you tell me about the, the dynamic now? Because you guys Well, I mean, on... I think we've, there's been a flip-flop, obviously. And he is, uh, Rick Grimes is maybe enjoying his Negan time more than ever. <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, it, it's a, it's been a lot of fun. I, you know, when we came back to work this year, just to, we ended last year, you know, with, uh, you know, the throat slash and, and, and to get back in this position and see kind of Andy really kind of digging in and having a good time with the Rick Grimes of it all and me being on the other side of these bars. Um, it's fun. It's, it's fun to, I had a great time just watching him do his thing. Um, uh, what I want to say that this is this is an, uh, an amazing new Negan. The scene that we had in the first is it a second episode. Second episode was amazing, and I think some of the writing in it was the best writing that you've yeah. had. I think it was beautiful, and just the fact that we've got this history and two year time jump as well. I think just informs it in a much more nuanced way, and 
And Jeffrey's just doing some beautiful acting as well. I think, every, I think everybody I think is. It's really I, it's some of the best work I think anybody on the show has done, um, yeah. and, and which is great, especially with um, you, you know Andy leaving. I think everyone is just stepping it up, uh, and that goes from the writing on down to the actors to the crew. I yeah. think everyone is. There's a new vitality to this show. It feels Without like. A doubt. Um, and a lot of it, I think, has to do with with Andy and and uh, uh, us kind of keeping him alive, and he is there with us daily. Yeah. You know? Oh man, October seventh can't come soon enough. It really can't. It's can. gonna be it's great. A, it's Sounds exciting. like it's gonna be great. It's gonna uh, be a good time. This this is like a whole like you were when you came into the show, you were the boss. You know, you were you took control. You were beating everybody down, and now is, is it a different experience for you when your character is totally uh, locked away? Yeah, but I like it. I yeah. mean, it's a, it's been a really great challenge and a and a great fun as an actor and I felt like maybe I did, was kind of stuck in the, a rut a little bit yeah, uh, yeah. you know like I needed Negan to move on and, and we needed some, to see a different side of him and, I, and you know be careful what you wish for because now there is a different side of Negan that is front and center and I think you know, I think I'm having Negan is having a hard time with what he is seeing in himself, and and these guys are really having a good time um, with. But Negan. also, you say, I mean, he's his some of his lines, psychologically, he's still just as vindictive as he was w with the baseball bat. I mean, I think that he has certainly in the scenes that we got to play, uh, yeah. he's, he's able to get inside Rick like no one else and you know, worm his way with poison into his ear and say a couple of home truths that no one wants to say. Yeah. You know, and it, that's what was so exciting. Is yeah. that the, you know, the, the chess game of these scenes was so much fun to yeah. play. Now, my last question for you. <laughs> uh, the Roshoners, man. They're loving you guys. When, I, when they found out, I was talking to you guys, they were like, you gotta ask, are we gonna get a little Roshone love before you leave? What, what happens with uh, Ricky Michonne in, in this season? Is there something to look forward to There's there? a lot of love going on. A lot of oh, love. Yeah, don't worry. All right.